you want to open the video today you want to tell them we're going to talk about uh, creating a mission screen for the game today and then you just say um, do the intro yeah you want to do the intro ha good boy do the intro Whee! Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. I'm Pascal from Orange Pixel. If this is your first time, I hope you stay and you watch a bunch of other videos I uploaded. Um, first of all, I bumped into somebody yesterday and we started talking about YouTube and my channel and I was thinking like, yeah, I have about 300 to 400 average viewers per video per week, which is not a huge amount, but for me it's a lot because I thought about it and if you put all of you guys, you everybody there watching, if all of you were assembling in one big room and there was a stage and I was on stage right here talking to three or four hundred people, I, I would shit myself and it, it wouldn't be a pretty picture and i wouldn't be able to talk to you guys because that's a lot of people so um my first thing this video this week thank you for watching like seriously um thank you for watching my videos every week i hope to keep creating fun and interesting videos because i think i have a a great video today we're gonna create a mission screen. Um, I mentioned this in last week's devlog for Gunslug. I need to create a mission screen for the game. And uh, it's interface work, which is always a bit interesting and a bit of a problem for most game developers. Uh, for the main reason, at least I think, the main reason is that every game needs a different interface. It's, it's not something you can copy and paste from previous games because every game has a different interface. It's always, it needs to fit with the game style, it needs to be clear to the player. It's it's a lot of hard work and design work. I have a vague idea of what I want and um, I should draw it first because that gives me a better idea of um, explaining it to you guys and also knowing how to draw things. So first, pen and paper. All right, so that's pen and paper. Um, Right, mission screen. So, um, world map. I hope you can see it. Like, this is gonna be um, the interface, the screen. I just want these these islands you can select. And um, so the first logical step for this would be to draw these islands. I'm just gonna roughly draw them and not put all too much detail in it because maybe this is not gonna work. So right now I just need an interface, something that works or at least something that I can use to test if everything works. And I can always change this because I can replace the islands with like just boxes or rectangles or whatever. It's more that I have some functionality in the game that I can build upon and then it will evolve into something like a mission select screen. So enough talk, let's do some pixel art, let's create some islands and um, let's create some code. Alright, so the first phase is pretty much creating um, islands. Um, I'm not adding a lot of detail, like I said, this is just a quick one just to see if the interface works and if this is um, a good idea or not. If these islands stay in the game or if we're gonna create better islands I will make them prettier and more detailed but that's all for later right now we just need to have the functionality of an interface so um, just something to look at basically
and the next step is getting these graphics uh, up and running in the game. I'm doing this again in a very rough way. I will be cleaning up this code a lot more as I create the interface, but for now I just want this to have a very fast iteration. So just quickly get things on the screen and then we sort out how to do this in a better way as we create all the functionality. Because right now I don't really know what all the functionality is gonna be. I'm taking it step by step, so we'll see where we end up. there with the islands as you can see this is just a lot of iteration um, I'm putting stuff in there I, I try it I test it if it doesn't work then I just tweak it and fix it and you could probably do a lot of these things by designing it first on paper on documents or something but I figure that takes me just as much work as doing it this way for me this works it's not probably not the best way to do it for everybody but I just like to dump stuff in there see if it runs see if it works Right, so those are the islands. We can now select them and then we can um, go to that world and play it. Next phase is the most important phase and the whole reason I'm creating this interface, missions. I want to have a lot of missions in the game so every island will have a bunch of missions that you need to complete before another island unlocks or something along those lines. I haven't completely figured it out yet. Um, the big problem now is that I also haven't figured out how to create these missions. I want to have very flexible data for it and I want to uh, be able to add more missions at later stages and maybe also add more missions to earlier islands. So it needs to be uh, very flexible and it needs to contain a lot of information that the game can use. But right now I'm just going to create a bunch of missions uh, placeholders. This is not going to be the final missions and this won't really have all the information I need in the missions. But it's going to be a great starting point to just at least get something on the screen, on the interface. And then we'll work out how to do these missions later on. Next phase is actually creating the missions, which is, I'm not gonna do this in this video because I'm creating missions, just finding out what I need for a mission, what kind of data do I need, how am I gonna format that data so that I can be very flexible with adding more data later on or adding more missions to islands and um, having to figure all that out is probably gonna take me one or two days at least but this is really the starting point to creating a mission interface screen and from here on um, maybe you know what I'm just gonna do the data and all the mission data and um, we need to do a little time warp so maybe if I can just um, maybe you can can you he might can you take over he's gonna take over the rest of the video he's gonna the future me Future me, go. Um, hi guys, it's future me. But um, right, uh, yeah, I think I can take over. Uh, weird. All right, where were we? Um, mission screen. Yes, it took me more than a day to get all this mission data up and running. But the good news, I got it up and running. Right, so. Let's just dive in and I'll show you what I did and how it looks now. 
and here we have the mission screen as it is right now as you can see the missions are now much more structured there uh, i've split up the missions entire so the idea i have right now is that if you complete all the missions in tier one you unlock the next island which have has another set of tier one missions uh, there will be tier two missions and maybe even tier three missions one of the missions will be rescue a specific character and that character will then be available in your squad so the more of those missions you do and complete the more or the bigger your squad will be because if a character dies during a mission it is out of your squad we'll see how it works this might all change before the game gets released but right now it's in the current build um, this build is gonna be on patreon next week or this week and i will see what the patrons think about it and um it will grow from there so yeah i'm really happy with how this all turned out and i hope you enjoyed watching this all being created because we're at the end of the video um and i need to do a lot more work on this but first it's going to be lunch time for me because i'm hungry and i need some lunch so um that's it for now i hope you enjoyed watching and i'll see you guys next week bye